Hi, uh, welcome to this year in review video. Um, I'm actually going to do a year and a half because uh, it's kind of important to this year that I've just had. So um, in this video I'm just going to talk about the stuff that I've done this year, which um, which is the reason why I'm making this video actually, because um, I was kind of looking back at what I have done this year and actually it's more than I expected I'd be doing this year. Um, and yeah, I just want to kind of thank some people and uh, just kind of, you know, explain what I've been doing this whole year. So I'm also going to be talking about my three big projects, which are 2XAA, ModP, and Micro Collective. Uh, what's happened to them this year, and where they're going to go next year. So, let's get started. In July 2014, I moved away from Plymouth to London, and this is part of my university course. We can choose an optional placement year to work and gain experience if we would like to, and I chose that because been stuck in Plymouth for a long time so it was time to move away for sure and um, I'm glad I did. So I moved to London and a month later I was already back down in Plymouth because of a uh, young rewired state that I put on a chiptune gig there and uh, mentored throughout the week and uh, created some like remote visuals which I did a video about previously. The chiptune gig at Virus 2014 I booked The Virus Empire, Ms. Kai, Jewel and Mike Blow and uh, it went pretty successfully. I got a chance to test out my visuals that I built through the week, and uh, yeah, it seemed to work very well. Back up in London in September, I started to put on my microchip gigs with Micro Collective. Microchip 1 wasn't so successful, but everyone had a good time, but Microchip 2 was uh, very, very well received, I think. Yeah, uh, there were a lot of people there, if I remember correctly. In October 2014, like I said, Mod V was started. Um, uh, that's pretty much all that happened in that month. And in November, uh, I won McDonald's hack with a group of people. Um, we weren't really expecting to win, but we kind of did, so that happened. And in December, I went on Winter Chips tour around Cornwall. There were three dates, and uh, they were all very enjoyable. Uh, that was with uh, CFGK24, Infotoxin Jewel, The Virus Empire Alone, and The Quitey, and Tommy Creep. Yes, it's a long list, it's hard to remember. So in 2015 is where it all kind of starts to kick off a bit. Jewel came up to stay with me to play a uh, super warehouse gaming party in London and um, he asked the organisers, uh, Matt and George, if they needed a VJ and because I was developing Mod V at the time, Jewel suggested that I play there, you know, and um, that happened and it was pretty, pretty good success. Um, I managed to test out my remote functionality as well, and that was pretty good. In February uh, was my first international gig. I played Pixel Dust in Belgium, and after that, uh, Nintendoom as well in, in the same week. And well, actually, two days apart. Yeah, uh, yeah, both very good parties. Um, Nintendoom, I was very drunk and very tired at. I remember very, very tired. I think my set was three or four a.m. I can't remember, but. Well, I mean, it, was, it was a good time. And in the same month, uh, Sega Pulse invited me to play and do visuals at Hyper City as well, which was very enjoyable. In March 2015, I was invited back to Super Warehouse Gaming Party, thanks Matt and George, uh, to do visuals again. And um, in the same month, Antonio Roberts, Hello Cat Food, and I put on Mac Trip 3 in Birmingham. Uh, that was the first uh, ever gig that I've, well, first and last actually, that I've got funding for. Uh, so that was that was enjoyable. Yeah, um, Antonio made sure that we got the lottery funding because he's just a brilliant man at organising stuff and getting you know proposals written and things. So thanks, dude. In April, uh, Microchip Four happened. Uh, that was that was pretty fun. That was good. Uh, Hyperwave also happened. Their launch party in the same month and. Uh, yeah, I did visuals there, and it was there that I did visuals for Henry Homesweet, who later uh, convinced Forest Booking to get me on his Russian tour. <sighs> Don't know how this happened, but you know. Okay, thanks, dude. <laughs> um, that's skipping ahead, though. Uh, so in May, uh, I was invited to Random Bazaar in Paris. Uh, thanks, Maritz, that was, that was very kind of you. And um, I played there, I did visuals there, and I also did a talk slash workshop on Mod V. Also in May, I was invited to Joy Pants Joy Jam, uh, and I spoke there in a panel and played uh, a small show as well. Again, thank you Matt and George, very kind. Uh, in the same month, 
Gamer Disco, I played there. Um, I bumped into some famous guys from YouTube there as well. They just happened to be there. Strange, okay. And uh, Microchip 5, which was the last of the microchips, um, that happened also in the same month, May, because I moved out of London uh, in early June. And uh, that was my time in London. Yeah, I mean, it seems very short in this video, but you know, a lot happened. Uh, I met so many people there. Um, you know, just so many people. Uh, I, so many, many, many people. I can't even begin to say everyone's names. It was a good time. Yeah, like, ridiculous. So yeah, in June, I moved out of London and back to Plymouth and uh, then I went back up to London again just for one event and I worked with uh, a team of people including Dario um, and um, Anthony to win Hack the Visual with our uh, Splat Map app. Yeah, um, it's like a, an app which records 3D space uh, but it's like gamified so it was pretty cool. July, not much happened. Um, August, uh, I got invited to go to Shambhala Festival by Leon Trimble and 8 Lounge, and I did some visuals in their dome in the woods, and I also played as well. And Leon was kind enough to let me uh, sneakily do one act on the main stage as well. I did their visuals with Mod V there. Uh, that, was, that was pretty cool. I've got a little bit of video on YouTube about that as well. And also in August, it was the first time ever that Micro Collective collaborated with Chip Tunes Equals Win. How did that not happen before? Who knows? Um, yeah, I mean, that was cool. Uh, in fact, that was released the same time I was at Shambhala. So I was on the phone um, with Brandon and Erin and uh, Sam Mulligan on Nerd Rock, Skyping in on my phone, and I was in the middle of a field. Yeah, so that was incredible. Um, I actually put together the track list in the car on the way to Shambhala as well, so, you know, it was all a bit crazy, but, you know, it, it worked out well in the end. Um, I'm really proud of that release, actually. It's a great release. You should go and check it out. It's uh, Micro Win, or You Win. So in September, um, Superlight happened, and at Superlight I was invited to play the pre-parties, the headline act. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I did visuals on the main stage and I also held a workshop slash lecture about Mod V. It was more of a rant really, I didn't, like, I wasn't expecting there to be so many people there without laptops so um, I kind of just went on a bit of a tangent. But yeah, thank you James, AD and Mark for that, um, that's really, uh, that was just cool, thanks guys. So also in September, Buzz Jam happened, which was held in Red Bull Studios London and was run by We Make Awesome Shit and the Young Guns Network. And this event kind of got coders and musicians together to collaborate and create new instruments. And I worked with Them and Us, which were the musicians, uh, Sid Van Gamma and Greg Stewart. And we made this keytar, this double-necked guitar hero-necked keytar with two Game Boys in it, a Raspberry Pi, and just a ton of lighting and wires and it was really cool and um, I was really proud of that like that was the coolest hack that I've ever done you know and yeah that was that was cool <laughs> it got featured in the BBC as well um, on their Instagram and there were articles written and I think there was a radio segment as well so that was that was very cool now moving on to October Russia happened I got invited to join Henry Homesweet and Zan on a Russian tour held by Forest Booking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that happened, which was just incredible. Like, uh, yeah, I'm still blown away by the whole tour. Completely blown away. Um, it was so good. There were three dates, and I was only there for five days. Two of those days I was travelling on a plane. <laughs> there and back and um, you know so it was a really intense experience for me because there was no kind of leeway between me getting there and me starting to play and then me going home pretty much so that was incredible so thank you for us booking uh, thanks Alex and Juliana for setting that up that was the most incredible kind of five days that I've had I think ever um, <laughs> so many stories from that it's just so good and that's pretty much it so that's my kind of year in review, but I'm going to talk about my three major projects now, 2XAA, 
mod V and micro collectives. So to XAA, you've just heard what's happened. <laughs> I played loads of gigs. Um, I'm planning to release an EP with a net label which contacted me for a demo. Yeah, so it should be pretty good. I'm hoping to use Nan Loop 2 for this release and kind of have a more house sort of feel. Uh, I've never really done genres particularly in kind of chip music, but you know, I'll give it a go and see what happens. Uh, Mod V, so Mod V's come a long way in the past year. In fact, it's a year old, it's just turned a year old now. Um, from these kind of remote visuals that I did at YRS to where it is now, it's, it's a big step, a huge step. Um, so I am still working on it, but kind of university has happened in the past few months. I'm back at university now, back in Plymouth, you know, working pretty hard. So, you know, I've kind of redone the API now. I'm working on a new interface. And once the new interface is done, I'll write up all the documentation and then it'll be much easier to use for a lot of people. It is available to, you know, download and use now, but it's not as good as it will be, obviously. Uh, but if you do want to contribute to the project, it's all on GitHub. Just, you know, let me know, make a pull request, you know, see, see what happens. Um, micro Collective. Now, you've heard everything that's happened for the Micro Collective in the past, you know, year and a half now. We put on the microchip gigs, we did Micro Win. Um, we didn't do any competitions this year, or last year actually, and we didn't do anything at Superlight this year either, but that's because uh, I was busy doing other stuff, like I did loads there actually, so I couldn't fit in Micro Collective this year. But that's not to say the Micro Collective's dead by a long shot, no way. So I've got a team together, um, it's me and two other guys. We're gonna rebuild Micro Collective. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna rebuild Micro Collective and kind of make it a more fluid experience. So it's gonna have a, hopefully a better layout of the site, not changing it too much, just, you know, changing things around so things aren't so confusing. It's gonna be more like a SoundCloud experience. No, not exactly like SoundCloud, but you know, very, very close to what SoundCloud is in terms of, you know, the single page application sort of thing. So you press play, you move on to another page and you can still hear the music that's playing, you know, it doesn't stop. So it's going to be a more fluid experience. We're thinking about upgrading a ton of stuff as well. So music transcoding like Bandcamp does, so you upload one file and it'll turn it into a bunch of other formats if it's high enough quality already. And, um, you know, so, you, you know, it should be a good experience. It's, it's going to be a lot of work. Chipping away at it now and again, it's going to, it's going to, you know, be done this coming year, 2016, and it should be done. Whew. Anyway, <laughs> I've got a ton of other people to thank for this year as well. Um, it's been ridiculously good. Um, there's only one more day of this year left, which is tomorrow, or even today, depending on when I get this video edited. So, I hope everyone's had a really good year, and uh, what's going to happen to me in 2016? Well, like I said, Morphe, Micro Collective, they're all going to be upgraded and redone, and I'm going to be finished with University. <sighs> yeah, in six months. And, yeah then I'll be out in the wide world looking for a job. Yeah, fun. But I will be moving back to London, I hope, and Microchip will return. Yes, it will return, it'll return bigger and better. Um, maybe more like a festival sort of thing, you know, like maybe what Microchip 3 was, but I think, you know, a bit better than that. So we'll see, we'll see. So I hope everyone has a really good 2016, um, and hope everyone's had a really good 2015 as well. Thanks for watching this ridiculously long video, and bye.